Upeka in Pali, Upeka Upeka, Sanskrit, Upeksa Upeksa, is the Buddhist concept of equanimity. As one of the Brahma Vihara meditative states, it is a pure mental state cultivated on the Buddhist path to nirvana. Topic: <laughs> Pali literary contexts. Several passages in the Pali Canon and post-canonical commentary identify Upeka as an important aspect of spiritual development. It is one of the four sublime states which are purifying mental states capable of counteracting the defilements of lust, aversion and ignorance. As a Brahmavihara, it is also one of the forty traditionally identified subjects of Buddhist meditation in the Theravada list of ten paramita perfections, Upeka is the last identified bodhisattva practice, and in the Seven Factors of Enlightenment Bojanga, it is the ultimate characteristic to develop. To practice Upeka is to be unwavering or to stay neutral in the face of the eight vicissitudes of life—which are otherwise known as the eight worldly winds or eight worldly conditions, loss and gain good repute and ill repute, praise and censure, and sorrow and happiness the at the loka dhamma, the far enemy of upekka is greed and resentment, mind states in obvious opposition. The near enemy, the quality which superficially resembles upekka but which subtly opposes it, is indifference or apathy. In the development of meditative concentration, upekka arises as the quintessential factor of material absorption, present in the third and fourth jhana states. Topic: <laughs> Contemporary exposition. American Buddhist monk Bhikkhu Bodhi wrote. The real meaning of upekka is equanimity, not indifference in the sense of unconcern for others. As a spiritual virtue, upekka means stability in the face of the fluctuations of worldly fortune. It is evenness of mind, unshakable freedom of mind, a state of inner equipoise that cannot be upset by gain and loss, honor and dishonor, praise and blame, pleasure and pain. Upekka is freedom from all points of self-reference, it is indifference only to the demands of the ego self with its craving for pleasure and position, not to the well-being of one's fellow human beings. True equanimity is the pinnacle of the four social attitudes that the Buddhist texts call the divine abodes, boundless loving-kindness, compassion, altruistic joy, and equanimity. The last does not override and negate the preceding three, but perfects and consummates them. <laughs> See also